hey guys welcome back to another video it's actually been so 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 long um <laughs> it's been ages that i've actually sat down and recorded a video and i do apologize for that i've just been so so busy and i think this video will actually explain why i've been so busy so the last time i spoke to you guys i was actually in my second year and now i'm here in my final year as a adult student nurse like it feels like it was only yesterday that i was in my first year and now i'm in my final year which is just crazy but um i thought because i haven't filmed in a very 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 long time i thought let me do a video which is completely different to anything i've done before um so you guys are in for a treat because in today's video um it will not only feature myself but alexandra grace so we're going to explain to you guys how it is to be in our final year um, from two different perspectives, I guess, because she's studying child nursing and I'm studying adult nursing. So you guys can see from both sides how it is and advice that we would give to you guys as well. So if you're in your final year, this video is really important for you. If you're not in your final year, watch it anyways, because at the end of the day, you will get to your final year soon. So if you're in your second year, first year, whatever year that you're in, make sure you watch this video so that you know what to expect i hope that you guys enjoy this video um let's start hi <laughs> guys for those of you who don't know who i am my name is alexandra grace or alex as most people like to call me and i am a third year student nurse studying children's nurse so the first question is what are your thoughts of third year and how did you feel what was your first reaction so after second year finished I was really really nervous to start third year but I was also very excited because I feel like when you you will know this when you are a nursing student studying nursing the time goes by so quickly you're so busy there's so many different things you've got to do like placements studying revising lectures all of that so the time goes by really quickly so it kind of hits you really hard i think i was very nervous because i knew everything stepped up a level like the expectations of your practice and placement the expectations of the levels of your writing i just knew it was going to be very intense so i felt nervous and excited because obviously it's a lot more responsibility a lot more work you know you're kind of rounding up three years of study and getting prepared to be registered and be a professional um, but at the same time, I was just excited to like make the most of the opportunity and to just work really hard. So my initial thoughts when starting third year, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, it's third year's final year. I feel like I'm supposed to know more than this. That was my first reaction. I, I thought that in my third year, I would know so much. And I feel like I don't know as much as I first initially thought I would know by third year. When I was on placement as a first year student, um, I was working on a surgical ward and there was a third year student and she was just amazing like she's someone i looked up to and i'm really lucky to even still be in contact with her now if you're watching this hey <laughs> but yeah like i looked up to her and i was like wow i want to be like her when i'm in third year because she knew everything and i felt like i'm not like that right now so what's going on like what have i done wrong but yeah, so that's my initial reaction of third year. I was really, really scared because I was just like, oh my gosh, do I know enough? Um, I'm graduating soon, that's scary. As much as it's exciting, I feel like it's also really scary to know that you have so much responsibility and that you're on your own. But at the same time, obviously excited. I wanna get this over and done with. Um, and just see what the future holds as well. Cause nursing, you can, do anything i don't know third year is just mixed emotion the second question is how are you managing as a third year student how are you coping and how is it different to second year i think so far i'm coping pretty well i think like i know what to expect and i know that especially after christmas everything's gonna kind of step up a notch you know with deadlines management placement all of that going on later on next year i think so far i'm coping well it was an interesting adjustment from going back to face-to-face -face lectures and things like that from being online for so long but i feel like so far i'm coping well i've got a good support system i've got really supportive teachers at university so i think so far it's okay but i know i'm like anticipating the stress because i know it's gonna get a lot harder but that's expected because it's the final year of uni 
but I'm just trying to keep as organised as I possibly can to create minimal stress. In terms of the difference from second year to third year, I think second year was very intense with like loads of content to learn. It was a step up from first year, you know, you've got more responsibility on placement, you have more knowledge. There was so much content that was like squeezed into second year and like catching up from what we missed during COVID in first year. So there was a lot going on. So I feel like that kind of prepared me for the workload and the stress of being a third year, but it's a completely different way of learning. I feel like in third year, you know, it's a lot more, academic is a lot more research it's a lot more reading and preparation to become a professional as opposed to learning all the biology and all the skills to become a children's nurse in my case so every year has been completely different and not necessarily in a good or bad way but just a diff in different aspects of preparing ourselves and training to become a well-rounded nurse so yeah in that way it is quite different so far but I think it's just different because it's a step up and that's it really. So I feel like third year in comparison to second year is quite different in a sense where I feel like now that I'm in third year, there's a lot more independence. Even when I'm on placement, obviously everything that I do will always be under supervision because I do not have my pin yet, but I do feel like I do get some kind of independence. And also when I say that I'm a third year student, I just get treated like I'm a staff member. You, you get respect anyways as being a student nurse, but I feel like you get more respects when you say that you're in your final year. Um, what else? Yeah, even independency is not only when on placement, right? I also feel like in my studies as well, lecture wise, um, you do more things on your own um, and you're kind of more in charge of your own learning in comparison to second year. Um, yeah, so I think that's the difference between third year and second year. How am I coping in third year? Um, well, initially I was doing well. I feel like I was, I feel like I was still in my second year self. So I thought I was doing well, but I came to a conclusion that I wasn't doing as well as I thought I was. Organisation is key and I feel like I wasn't as organised as I, as I thought I was. Um, which led to me being really behind on many different things and becoming very stressed out. So if you're watching this right now, I would just advise you to be much more organised um, because it does make a big difference and it avoids you from getting stressed out because you actually do things on time, which I didn't do, which I actually regret. But obviously, you learn and you grow. Being a student doesn't mean you know everything and... I'm learning from my mistakes and I know now that I'm going to stick, if I have a plan, I'll stick to it. So if you have a plan and if you're like me and you've not been following your plans, try and stop following them because it actually does make a big difference. Right now it's the finishing line and everyone wants to just be done with, with everything, you know, just graduate and just be happy. I think that having a support group is also really important and that's also my coping mechanism um just talking to friends about how i'm feeling um if i'm stressed out it helps a lot it really does um and i think that's what's going to help me within this third year just support each other um as nursing students to be honest and that's not only my friends who i live with but also like people on instagram that i've now become friends with as well so it's really good to network with people because it really does help you especially when you're like really stressed out because third year is hard um it's actually a hard year and i think that's the whole reason why we're doing this video as well to show you guys that we are third year students and it's not as easy as people make it seem like we do struggle as well but at the end of the day we all have to be there for each other support each other and just get through it yeah <laughs> the third question is if you could go back to the beginning of nursing school so first year what would you say to your younger self that is a really good question if i could go back to first year i think i would say to my younger self stop being so shy that's one thing that i obviously like if you're a shy person it's that's just who you are but i just feel like there's no need to be so shy <laughs> for example starting placement i was so nervous i was really nervous it was my first year by the way um 
I was literally just standing there, like even say hi, my name is. Da, da, da. It was just, you know, what I mean, I was just so nervous. Um, but I feel like don't worry because at the end of the day, your confidence grows. The more placements you go to, the more you just get used to knowing that these are just normal nurses. These are normal people. Doctors are not scary. Everyone's just doing their job, trying to help patients. So don't worry about it. That's what I would say to my younger self. Because right now, I feel like I've got, I've gained much more confidence. And that's because this is a course where you're going to have to talk to people, whether you like it or not. Um, you work with so many different people. So confidence will be gained. Um, another thing that I think I would say to my younger self, would be to stay organised, to stay on top of my game, um, which is something that I always tell you guys because it's something that I never done and I feel like I should have because it would have changed quite a lot. Um, but it's a learning process. This whole course is a learning process. And when you finish this course, you don't stop learning. You're always going to be learning. Another thing that I would tell my younger self is to not stress too much. If you don't know something, it's not the end of the world um literally just ask for help i feel like it's only in second year that i got the confidence to ask for help when i didn't understand things to ask for help um if i needed extra tutorials and stuff like that because everything was on zoom so if you're watching this in your and you're in your first year lecturers are there to help you so just ask for help if you need help or if you don't understand anything um, they're not scary people and they will actually help you. You have to have a balance um, between uni life and your own personal life and to not forget about your personal life because this course can be draining and it's really, really, really important that you have the best of both worlds where you study hard but you also know how to re relax and find a coping mechanism. Um, I feel like I would just tell myself to believe in yourself more. I think when you're on placement, especially when you're you're having to constantly introduce yourself to a new team of people every time you go into a new placement, it can be really daunting because I feel like we put more pressure on ourselves as student nurses to like be perfect and to feel like we have to know everything and we try so hard to not make mistakes. But I think I would tell myself, have confidence in yourself because you know more than you think you do and just know that it's okay to make mistakes obviously some mistakes are a bit more problematic than others but just sim like simple silly mistakes or like getting a number wrong or i don't know or getting a calculation wrong or forgetting to do something like little things like that we're only human and even nurses who are years qualified will make mistakes and that's okay because you know things happen we're only human it doesn't mean you don't know anything so i think yeah I'd definitely tell myself have more confidence in yourself because you know what you're doing like just have confidence in your ability and just know that it's okay to be wrong sometimes because nursing is like a lifelong journey of learning like you'll never once you qualify it's that's not it like you don't know the whole world of nursing so i feel like i like i wish i would have cut myself more slack back then i think that's something i've definitely learned along the way throughout this journey so the fourth question is advice you'd give to third years going through the same process as you I would say just time management know how to manage your time know how to manage your time because I think it's a skill that you learn especially in second year when you've got more independence and you start to take your own patience and you have to learn how to plan your day learn how to time manage and those skills are really useful and transferable into your university life so it helps you to manage how to write your assignments in time how to you know manage placement in uni and just juggle loads of things at once so I think just take those skills that you've learned in the past two years of your course bring them into third year and just you know start things early start thinking about things after Christmas now start thinking about your next steps and thinking about how you want to approach your final placements how you want to you know do well in your assignments and how you want to upgrade your writing like it's a lot to think about and it's a lot of pressure but I feel like 
being organized and knowing how to manage your time will save so much stress and so much grief in third year because there is a lot going on you're thinking about applying for jobs depending on the university you're thinking about writing your dissertation you've got assignments placement there's a lot to prepare for and a lot to plan for so i think just being proactive and organized is the best way to go so if you're third year watching this well done for even getting to your third year like it's actually so hard whether you're doing child adult mental health learning disability whatever type of nursing or if you're doing if you're not even doing nursing whatever you're doing just well done for getting to third year um advice that i'd give you is you're at the end of the road like not long left which is scary to say but we've got this we've come this far so we just have to keep pushing it's not easy it's actually not easy at all but why give up now we've actually come this far um yeah that's the advice i'd give because i'm not gonna sit here and say like it's easy it's not easy at all it's not easy at all especially being on placement and still having assignments and still thinking about dissertations and stuff like that it can be really stressful but yeah you just have to think of the positive and keep pushing pushing through speak to somebody speak to friends family you can even message myself or alexandra grace like speak to a community of people like it really does help a lot just knowing that other people are going through the same situation as you and that you're not alone um yes that's my advice for anyone in third year just going through the same situation as me the last question is what is your favorite thing about your course and what are you looking forward to so my favorite thing about my course is just how well rounded it is i think one thing i love about children's nursing is that you're learning about children from birth you've even learned things about fetal development and you're learning about a child and their normalities and abnormalities from birth right up until they become an adult it is a lot to remember especially to do with like anatomy and physiology and remembering what are normal obs for different age groups and what's not normal for different age groups but it's so and it's so interesting and there's so many different aspects to nursing and not just learning about you know how to physically care for a child you're learning how to communicate with their parents you're learning how to prioritize their holistic needs you know their mental health how to interact with children from, with different developmental stages and how to talk to different children of different ages i love how well-rounded the course is in that sense and that you get to go a bit beyond just what happens at the bedside and i love just the fact that we get a little bit of everything like we do presentations we do assignments obviously you've got placement we do clinical skills in the labs and we can just kind of it's like a open space to just make mistakes and learn from each other and learn from yourself so i think that's one thing i love about nursing and also child nursing in particular what am i looking forward to i am looking forward to just becoming more independent and more confident in myself as a student nurse and a soon-to-be qualified nurse um being able to demonstrate my knowledge and just show how much i've worked for in the past two years and be able to prove myself to myself you know that i was able to do it and um i'm just excited to go into whatever job post i decide to go into and just to meet new patients and new families and just make a difference because that's why i chose this career because i want to help make a difference to children's lives i want to really use my talents and use my knowledge to help other people so yeah i am definitely looking forward to the future even though it's daunting the thought of kind of being out and being the nurse instead of the student um but i think it's something that is a really exciting thing to think about and regardless of what field of nursing you go into it's something that is really exciting and that we should all be proud of how far we've come i'm just looking forward to progression and just making memories with my friends on my course as well and just seeing everybody else succeed as as well there's a lot to be done this year but i'm excited to get through it i think i'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds for me um as an individual because this course can take you anywhere and that's what's amazing but also kind of scary because you don't know where you're gonna go next but yeah the future's looking fun i guess i want to do so many different things i thought when i was in my first year that 
now that I'm in my final year, I would know exactly what I want to do, exactly where I want to work, exactly what type of nursing I want to do for the rest of my life. And now that I'm in my third year, I realise that's not the case. I've realised that there's so much more to nursing and I can't tell you, sit here and tell you guys that this is this one thing is what I want to do for the rest of my life because nah, there's too many different things. Too many different things are exciting to me. So for now I don't know, but if you're in the same situation as me and you are still unsure about what exactly you want to do, don't worry because I feel like you still have time. Um it's only November, approaching December soon. We graduate all the way in the summer, so we still have time, we still have different placements. Who knows, maybe we'll find something between now and then that we actually really enjoy. Um, so yeah, don't feel pressured at all to do something without 100% feeling that you really, really do enjoy working in that specific field. Um, yeah the future's bright i don't know where it's gonna take me but you guys are going to be watching my journey and i can't wait to hear your nursing journeys and see where it takes everyone because this is a completely broad subject you can do anything that you want so yeah it's quite exciting <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video this is different to what you guys are used to but i thought let's have a real talk um and just express how we are feeling right now um thanks to alexandra grace for also collaborating in this video make sure you guys check out her youtube channel the details will be listed somewhere here and in the description box below as well um and thank you guys so much make sure you follow my instagram page nurse diaries uk if you haven't already um make sure that you guys also follow my youtube channel nursediaries.uk where i need to be posting more videos i am aware and i will be soon so watch out for that um and make sure that you guys also follow my other page nursing essentials where you can buy your nursing essentials um we have an anatomy and physiology ebook which is out already it's been out for ages now um so you can purchase that if you need help from anatomy and physiology and we also have new fob watches which are also available on the website for a good price affordable price um so you can just wear a nice cute fob watch to work and just yeah save lives i guess <laughs> but yeah that's all from me um and i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in more videos to come. Bye guys.